All right. Today, our lesson is on guidance and counseling. You've heard of the subject, guidance and counseling. It teaches us about life skills, what we do in life, what we do in life. That is what we want to talk about today. And our very easy topic on our life skills today will be on road safety. Road safety. Say road safety, Jeremy. Road safety. Very good. Kyle, road safety. Road safety. Very good. So most of the times we've heard in newspapers, sometimes we also hear from people telling us that the child was bumped by a car, there was an accident, this happened to a pedestrian. It's because we need to know about our road safety. Let's take precautionary measures so that we don't get involved with these accidents. So today we want to talk mostly about rules for pedestrians. What is a pedestrian? Have you ever heard of that word, Kai? No. No, you've never heard. What about you, Jeremy? Ever never heard? heard. You've never heard of a pedestrian. Okay. A pedestrian is a person who walks. If you are not driving a car, if you are not riding on a bicycle and you are walking, you are called a pedestrian. Are you a pedestrian? Are you no. a pedestrian? You're not a pedestrian. You don't walk. Do you drive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You drive yes. when you're coming to school. Yes. You drive the car. When you yes. go to the shops, you go yes. back. Your parents, yes. Okay, your parents are the ones who be driving you to town or to wherever you want to go to, or you're coming to school. But most of the time, whether you are a driver or even if you're a cyclist, a person who rides on a bicycle is called a cyclist. Kyle, are you hearing me nice and clear? Yes. Very good. So I was saying, even a driver at one time or the other becomes a pedestrian. Becomes a pedestrian. So we all from one time to another have to walk. So that's why we all need to know the rules of the road. Do you all know the rules of the road? Yes. Can you tell me one rule of the road? If you are right traveling on the road, what is one rule we should observe? You are not pedestrians. You've never walked to the shops or to church or to school, isn't it? But I know you always walk to go and play with your friends, to visit your relatives and so on. You set the rule before you cross the road. Suppose you want to cross the road. The first thing you should do is, what should you do, Jeremy? In fact, I have to say that every day may I always walk to church by myself. Very good. You walk to church by yourself. So you should listen very carefully to the rules of the road. What about you, Kyle? Have you ever walked to anywhere? Yes. Where to? At the shops. When you go to the shops, you walk to the shops. Do you cross any road when you're going to the shops? Yes. Oh, how many roads do you cross when you're going to the shops? One. Only one road, like you. So your shops are nearby. Okay. So the first rule of the road before you cross the road, you should look right. Right. Very good. Raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand. Good. Is that your right hand? Good. Raise up your right. So you look right and then. What else do you do? Jeremy, what should you, you do? You look left. Very left. Good. You look left. And then? So we look right, then look left, look then what should you do? Kyle, what's the next thing? When there is no car, you can cross. Very good. You cross. But the rule of the road says look right, look left, and then look right again. In case when you were looking left, a car came from the right. So you look right, you look left, and then you look right again. If the road is clear, then you cross. Did you get that? Did yes. You get that? Ah, good. You are worrying about your earphones there. All right. So let's say that together. Look right. Let's go. Look right. 
Look left. Look left. Look right again. If the road is clear, then you cross. All right. Say that, Jeremy. Say that, Jeremy. Repeat after me. Look right. Look right. Look left. Look right. If the road is clear, we can cross. Very good. Well done, my dear. Clever boy. Now, Kyle, let's hear from you. Look right, look left, look right again. Okay, very good. And then if the road is clear, what do you do? You what cross. You if the road is clear, then you cross. Very good. Excellent. So that's the first rule we should never make a mistake about. Don't just cross. <laughs> look right, look left, look right again. If the road is clear, then we cross. Okay. Cross. Very good. Let's suppose now you get to a very busy road. You know the road which is very busy? Where there's a lot of traffic. There are many cars going to the right. There are many cars going to the left. What should you do? You look right, there are cars. You look left, there are cars. You look right again, there are cars. You look left, there are cars. What should you do? Where should you cross? All right, so if the road is very busy, you must use a crossing where there is a robot. Do you know a robot? Have you ever seen a yes. robot? You know a robot? Yes. What color is a robot? Yes. yes. What color is a robot? I know what a robot You know what a robot is? Yes. Which are the colors on the robot? There is red, red green, red. orange. Green. Orange. Which are the colors, Kyle? Red, green, mm -hmm. orange. Very good. Those three colors are the colors on the robot. And red says what? What does it mean? If you say red? It's, it means stop. It means stop. You should not cross. What about if you say green? Green means you green must go. Very good. It means you can't. You must go. You must cross. You must cross. What about orange? Orange. Orange means that be careful. It means be careful. Very good. Clever. You will be a driver, a very good pedestrian one these days. You are a very good pedestrian and you'll be a good driver when you grow up. It means you can means be ready to stop. Be ready to Stop, because it was Stop. green, yes, it is, the color was green and you are moving now, it's orange, means be ready to stop. All right, Stop. very good. So that's a robot. So you must always make sure that you, when the road is very busy, go and cross where there is a robot. All right, is that clear? Yes. 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 It's very safe of course where there is a robot controlled intersection. But suppose there's no robot. There's no robot. What are you supposed to do? And the road is very busy. Have you ever heard of a zebra crossing? Have you ever heard of a zebra crossing? No. No, you both of you have never heard of a of a zebra crossing, <laughs> all right? Okay, so if you don't have any zebra, uh, if you don't know what a zebra crossing is, look at my picture here. You see my picture there? Oh. You see it? I want you to look at these lines there. Yes. You see these lines? Yes. Yes, what color are those lines? White. White and? Black. And black. black. Very good. Black and white lines means what? White. That is what is called a zebra crossing. You can see that on the tar, they are white lines drawn like those ones I've just shown you. That means that is called a zebra crossing. Uh huh. All right. Yes, Jeremy. I saw a zebra crossing before. You've seen it? Okay. You didn't yes. know that it's called a zebra crossing. Because a zebra, you know, yes. a zebra is black and white. And that crossing is also yes. black and white. That's why it's called a zebra crossing. Right. So that means that is where pedestrians should be. Mm -hmm. 
that is where you should cross. It is very safe to cross even on a zebra crossing. Behave, welcome. The friend that still hear us nice and clearly behave. Behave. Have you joined us? All right. So it is very, you must be careful. So if there is no robot, then you look for a zebra crossing, which is the black and white lines. White. Black and white lines. Look for them. If you get there and you stop, yes. the cars will also stop. The cars will also stop. They will stop, stop. so that you can get in. You can pass. You can, you can cross the road, okay. but make sure you wait until the pass, cars have stopped. Cars need to stop. When they see you next to the zebra crossing, they stop and then you can cross. All right. Are we together? Yes. Yes. So yes. you can cross where there's a zebra crossing and can also cross where there is a robot. It is very safe, especially when the road is very easy. And then also, yes. let us remember that we should not walk in the road. Should we walk in the road? Hello? Hello? Should we walk in the road? No. Where should oh. we go then? Suppose we are in town. Should we walk in the road? No. Where should no. we when you, when you see a zebra cross, you can walk and when they are when they are not cut or then when you're when you're crossing when the cars come all cars will stop will stop for you very good but suppose now you are in the yeah there is a road and then we know that there is a pavement do you know a pavement no you don't know a pavement no. a pavement is a place where you are supposed to walk there is a road and then there's a pavement and then there is some shops okay so there where the cars don't move that's where people should move next to the shops okay so that is a pavement so when there's a road and we're in town let us make sure that we use the pavement we use the pavement, pavement. The side where the cars don't move but people are moving others are going this direction others in the other direction that is where we are supposed to walk Use the pavement, not the road. The road is meant for the road is meant for for cars, for cars, for bicycles, for buses, for what other things use the road? For motorbikes. For motorbikes, very good. What other things use the road? Lorries, isn't it? Yeah. The bus. The bus is very good. All those things are the ones which are supposed to use the road. That's the traffic. They should Hello. use the road. And then as pedestrians, we should use the pavement. We should use the pavement. What happens if we use the road? And there are cars and buses. And we also Hello. want to... Hello. Come, join us. Yeah. We will be bumped by the car. Isn't it? Oh. Yes. 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 We're going to be involved in an accident and get hurt, get injured, and uh, we may get uh, serious problems, isn't it? So let us make sure that we use the pavement. And what about when you're playing? Sometimes I know you guys, you enjoy playing. Instead of yes. playing inside the yard, we go and play outside with our friends. Yes. Is it safe? Yes, you should. You shouldn't play, play in the road. Yes, you want to play in the road there and you play with your friends. What games do you play outside the yard with your friend? Ah, uh, Mama, I play football with Jamal and we play. We, we, I have a bike and me and Peter train so I can ride a bike and I can go. With my bike to school. Oh, you're practicing to use your bike so that you can ride it to school. Oh, that would be very nice. So make sure that we'll learn the rules of a cyclist. If you ride a bicycle, you're called a cyclist. We'll see what rules to teach you so that you can ride safely. But you play outside the yard. You ride your bicycle outside? 
Yes. When you're playing with your mouth. Oh, okay. So we need to be yes. very careful there. What could happen? What could happen? Sometimes you get hit when, when you walk in the wrong road. When you, when you when you walk on the road, wrong road, a car will bump your bike and and you. Yes, but even when we are playing outside, the cars might come, isn't it? And we can be yes. involved in an accident, may get hurt. So the road yes, is not for playing. Let's play in the playground or inside the yard. It is very dangerous. Even if you play ball, it. Is, it gets into the road and you try to go and get it, you may get involved in an accident. So let's make sure that we use the road safely. Let's yes, so listen to the rules of the road. If we are pedestrians, it means we are walking. People who walk on, on foot, okay? You are a pedestrian. Even if yes. you are a driver, you can't drive into every road and every street. Sometimes you have to park your car and do other businesses. So remind your parents as well. Okay. All right. Yes. So that's road safety day. A life skill. You should learn this because you will touch the rest of your life. You do this skill for the rest of your life. And also to remind your young brothers and sisters, even your other sisters and brothers, even your parents, remind them on the rules of the road which you have learned today. All right. Okay, now a recap. Let me see whether you were listening now. What do we call a person who is walking? A person who uses feet, who is walking and is not driving or cycling. Can you tell me, Kai? Is he called a pavement or a pedestrian? A pedestrian. Very good. Called a pedestrian. All right. And number two, before you cross the street, what should you do? Always look. Firstly, right. Look. right. And then? Left. Left. And then? Right. right. Right again. Very good. So you look right, you look left, and then you look right again. If the road is clear, you cross. Very good. If the road is clear, then you cross. Don't forget that. Look right, look left, look right again. If the road is clear, then we cross. All right. And then we say, if the road is very busy, what should you do? What should you do if the road is very busy? Where should you cross? Do you look for a? Do you look for a robot or do you look for a right? What do you look for? A robot. Very good. Do you look for a? A robot controls intersection and you use that part of the road. And which color will tell you to go? Which color on the robot will tell you to go? Green. Green. Green says go. So green. You until it's green. Very good. And then you cross the road. All right. If there is no robot, which is the other safe place to cross? Which is the other safe place to cross? Uh, what do we call that zebra crossing? crossing? Is it called a zebra crossing or is it called an elephant crossing? A zebra crossing. A zebra. Well done. And what color is the zebra crossing? Black and white. Black and white. Black and white. Excellent. Those slanting lines which are black and white. That's a zebra crossing. That's the place to cross if you are using the road. And we said, don't walk in the road. Where should you walk? Where should you walk? Should you walk on the pavement or on the pedestrian? Where should you walk? Where should you walk? On the pavement or on the pedestrian? Where should you walk? On the pavement. We said you should walk on the pavement. pavement. Very good. The pavement is the place where pedestrians should walk. So pedestrians walk on the pavement. And let's let the other traffic use the road. All right. Is that clear? 
Yes. He said, don't play near a car. Near a car. So don't play near a road. Don't play near a road because cars Ooh. will be passing there. So it is dangerous to play near those places. All right. Very good. And then uh, let us make sure that you follow the rules of the road. I want you to draw a robot for me. Can you quickly do that now? Draw a robot. A very fast one. Draw a robot for me. Quickly draw a robot. You may not have the colors for now, but just show me how it looks like. And then later on, you will put the correct colors for a robot. If you are done, you show me. A robot helps us to cross safely where there is a road. If the road is busy, we should use a robot crossing. A robot controlled uh, section of the road. It will help us to don't worry about the crayons. Don't worry about the crayons. Kyle, are you done? Yes, I'm done the robot. Now I want the crayons. No, just show me your color later. Let me see. You say color later. Let me see. Yes. Where is the robot? Show me. Just raise up your hair, your, your paper. Just like I can show you my book there. And you can see my picture. Don't worry about the crayons color later on. Oh, that's your robot. Very good. Excellent. That's a robot there. And then you color it later, isn't it? Very good, Kyle. Well done. Put yours down. Put it down. Well done. Now, Jeremy, let me see your robot. Jeremy, let me see your robot. All right, it looks like he's still busy with his robot. Cool. You have your work which talks about this, isn't it? Did you see your work? Yes. You're right. So let me see, Jeremy. Let me see your work. Let me see your robot. Wow, very good. So you are the clever boys, and I know that you are going to follow instructions and do your work. So now you draw it nicely. Take your time. Draw a nice big robot and color in the colors which we talked about. All right, very good. So this is a life skill which you are going to use for the rest of your life. And remember to travel safely on the roads. So road safety should be given priority every time, whether you are a pedestrian or even if you are a driver or even if you are a passenger inside a car. All right, thank you very much for today. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. See you again tomorrow in our next lesson. Bye. Bye, bye 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 see you tomorrow good good kyle bye jeremy and all those who are bye. watching us now bye 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 my dear